three ways to tell that you are overgiving and what you can do about it. So I'm Lisi. I'm a master certified Twin Flame Ascension coach, and I've been working with Twin Flames for over four years, helping you to come into harmony with your perfect partner, with your Twin Flame here on Earth. Um, I work with Twin Flames Universe, and you can find me on TwinFlamesHeartsDesire.com. So here's the three ways. So each of these three ways, you're going to know when you're giving too much because it's going to feel bad. And so here's the first way. When you don't have what you're giving, meaning like the easiest way to see this is in, in money. If you if you don't have the money to give, don't give it. If you're looking at your bank account and you've got $500 and your twin flame or someone else is like, hey, can you spot me $500? And taking from yourself to give to another feels really bad. It's not actually giving to them, right? What you're doing is it's a it's an act of codependency. You're being someone else's source. And you may be, be saying to yourself, well, they really need it and I have it, maybe physically. But the thing is, is that by giving to another what you actually don't have or taking from yourself to give to another, you're not only hurting yourself because you're depleting your own stores, but you're taking away their opportunity for a challenge, right? And remember that you are not someone else's source, including your twin flame. Your twin flame and you both have spirit. You both have God, right? You, you are connected with your own source who is God within you. And so is everyone else. They have that opportunity. You can't make somebody choose that, but you're not responsible for them if they don't choose that. And if this is your twin flame, then they're going to be helping you to heal this pattern of you trying to be someone else's source. And for some of you, this might be scary. You're like, well, if I don't give um, to my twin flame person, then, then they're going to be on the streets or whatever. And I don't want my twin flame to be on the streets. Well, think about it. The reason that they're in that predicament is because they have not yet um, learned how to grow on their own, right? So if you don't have it to give them, that's not on you to give. If you're like Miss or Mr. Moneybags and you've got millions of dollars or euros and your twin flame is, you know, really poor out on the street begging, that's different, right? That's when you have it to give. I'm talking about in situations where you don't have it to give, then you're not actually being called to give in that place, right? Remember that your source is divine. Their source is divine. So really ask your heart. Like the, the key here in this first scenario is ask your heart, like, is God calling you? Is the source calling you or spirit calling you to give? Do you have an overflow of wealth to give? Would this help this person, your twin flame or otherwise? Would it help them for to receive your gift. And I'm talking about money, but it could be other things, right? It could be your time, your energy. Um, another example of, of this would be like if you had a certain amount of time on your calendar and you were just you were supposed to do this, this thing, you're supposed to do your laundry, right? And your twin flame is like, oh yeah, let's, let's hang out and go to the movies. And I really, you know, I could use some support now. And let's say that you put your laundry off for a day and you go hang out with them. Okay, but what if you do that all the time and you have this massive pile of laundry or you, you don't do your inner work or you don't watch the classes, like Twin Flame Ascension School classes because your Twin Flame wants your time and your energy. And soon enough, you have this giant pile of laundry piled up so high that um, you, you everything comes crashing down because you've taken from yourself in a different way to give to another, to your twin flame in this example, right? So really to resolve this, this first one, you want to ask yourself, is this in alignment with source? And so take a moment before you give and just really go inwards. Can I do this? Is this taking from me to give to another? If it's not, go for it. But if it is, even just a little bit, start to make some changes in your life there. So I want to go to number two. Um, you know that you're overgiving 
when you feel depleted of energy, when you're feeling tired, right? Like maybe like this spills over from point number one, but like um, what I want to talk about here is sex. And that's an example. When you are giving that energy to another, including your twin flame, and there isn't a reciprocation of energy, like when you're giving something that doesn't actually feel mutual to you, that doesn't actually feel like you're receiving at the same time as giving, because that, that should feel good, right? Giving should also not feel like it's depleting you, but when you're truly giving in alignment with God, with love, you're going to feel like your, your well is being filled as you give. Here in this video, I'm giving, right? I'm, I'm overflowing what I've learned to you, what I know I'm giving that to you. And as I do that, I don't feel like anything is leaving me. I actually feel like I'm being filled up, like I'm being, um, you know, my, my love and joy is actually increasing in this very moment as I'm sharing this with you. This is aligned giving. When you're giving in alignment, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel like your, your well is continuing to flow and overflow. And this includes sex too. When you're giving sex, which is a very high spiritual vibration, um, be very mindful, even with your twin flame, of why you are engaging in such behavior with them. Are you doing it to please them? Are you doing it to get something back from them? Or is it a mutual fun activity that you're doing with them for the purpose of ascension and for um, doing a lot of healing together? I mean, and it's, it's a beautiful thing and it's something that can fill your, your life with more love. But it can also, in many places in the world, is being um, used in a, a not so divine way. And you see many examples of that. Um, what ends up happening, and this is according to my teachers, Jeff and Shalia, they posted recently about how when you are engaging in um, sex with many people, what you're actually doing is you're not actually engaging in divine lovemaking. You are just kind of following the, the what is it, oxytocin, the chemical, the chemicals in your brain that produce euphoric effects. But what ends up happening spiritually is you deplete yourself because you're sharing intimacy with so many people without building that foundation. And you're going to start to lose trust in yourself, really. Like, um, it's, it's not like bad luck or anything. It's just a matter of fact, you're going to stop trusting yourself because you've opened yourself to so many people without building the foundation and it erodes your own sense of self there. So you can rebuild it. Don't worry. Um, but you you do, you know, you were designed to have biological needs, but you don't go and get them met through like spreading yourself thin and, and sharing that with other people that aren't designed to be with you. Um, so there's a lot more to say about that. Um, there are some beautiful blog posts on the twinflamesuniverse.com website that you can read about twin flame sex. So I want you to um, really, if this is something that's coming up for you, whether you're in an intimate relationship with your twin or not, you're going to need to learn about this because it's a little bit different from what society teaches. And it's beautiful. It's amazing. Um, so let's go to number three. Your twin, you're going to know when you're, you're not in aligned giving, when you're over giving, if your twin flame or someone else is not reciprocating or replying to you at all. And you're not in a relationship to have a transaction, right? Like I gave, I commented or I sent you four messages and you only sent me three. Like that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an energy. So it goes kind of like this. Like imagine if you're playing tennis with a partner and you're hitting the ball over the net and they're hitting it back or maybe they're missing and, you know, running after the ball and then hitting it back. You overgiving would be like you continuing to serve the ball at them regardless of whether they tried to hit it back or not. Here's another serve. Here's another one. Here, 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 here. And they're going to feel like, uh, uh, uh. oh my gosh, so many balls coming at me. I'm going to, I'm going to walk away from this retarded, <laughs> like crazy tennis match. Sorry. <laughs> it, it's just, it's. I know that you don't want to see yourself that way, but I know a lot of people who send a bunch of texts and maybe if I change this word over here and 
Maybe if I pour my heart out even more, maybe they're gonna they're gonna reply this time, or maybe I need to open up even more and send like a nice love letter even more. And and of course, like these are not bad things. The intention isn't wrong. It's just you're not paying attention to whether or not you're received, right? You're not allowing the other person to respond to the first thing. And I think that um, in that moment when you give the other person time to respond, I think some of you get scared. You're like, what are they gonna, what are they gonna do? I, gotta, I, can't, I can't be in this period of unknown. I gotta send another one, right? So you're, you're sending not out of love, but out of fear. You're out of, sending out of anxiety. You're, you're communicating out of anxiety rather than out of love. You're not having a mutual relationship. The energy is not balanced, right? So that's when you know that the giving needs to shift. Now, if any of these three points you, you have, you know, put a finger up, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that, that's okay, right? I did all those things. I did pretty much every single thing that I shared about, I have been guilty of doing, and I want to help you. And I learned how to come into union with myself through practicing the teachings of union, right? They're, they're aptly named. The teachings of union teach you how to love yourself in these places that are kind of causing you to get off balance in these three ways, right? You can't just change your behavior. Like you can, but the root of it is still there. You need to go within. You need to heal the root. And the way to do that is by practicing the teachings of union. What are the teachings of union? Well, they're the teachings that are found in Twin Flame Ascension School and they involve practicing the mirror exercise to heal every upset, everything that, um, like all of the things that I was sharing about, the three ways that you can overgive, these are caused by misaligned thoughts and beliefs inside of you. They're, they're caused by a deep root, emotional root inside, and the mirror exercise will help you heal that. And this is taught in the book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. It's taught in Twin Flame Ascension School. And then as a coach, an, an ascension coach, I will help you to guide you through those four steps of the mirror exercises. That you don't need a mirror to do it. It's something that you write down. So if you want to practice, if you want some help here, I'm here to help you. So try an introductory session with me. I've got 30 minutes. Um, the introductory session, we will do healing work. And then we'll talk about next steps, things that you need support that you need in order to heal these roots permanently. Um, and I've got some special announcements on my website. I now have different pathways that you can take. So I know that every person is unique and different and every person um, is in a different place in their life. And so I have four different pathways that you can choose to, um, you know, places where you are gonna feel comfortable receiving support at the level where you're at. And so I wanna honor you where you're at, but I also want you to receive the support that you need. So check out my website, visit twinflamesheartsdesire.com, book an introductory session, and check out the pathways that's um, on my website. You just find the pathways page and check those out and see where you might fall, like what would feel good to you to start. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.